There we go. Okay, I'm Geodav, and in this set of tutorials, what we're going to do is start having a look at making very simple apex destructibles and how to use or setting things up in apex uh, yeah, physics lab, I should say, and go on from there. But obviously, first thing what we've got to do is create a mesh. Now, for this set of tutorials, I'm just going to be using Blender 2.65. Okay, and straight away, one thing you got to remember before, when you're starting with Blender, and for UDK, obviously, is to set it up as per for UDK. Now, I'll make a point of this. If you look in my... Uh, Blender to UDK basic videos, you'll see how to set that up. Even though it's a, an older version of Blender, it's still appropriate for 2.65. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my 3D cursor gets returned to 000. I'm now going to press Shift A, get a mesh and a cube. Now straight away by doing this with my setup it gives me a cube of 64 by 64 by 64. Okay, now I'll make a point in telling you this. Make sure your scale is set to 1, 1, 1. Okay, very important. Alright, next thing we're going to do is move the box up 32. And then we're going to set the the origin to the 3D cursor. That means the actual pivot point, the origin of this box will now be at 0, 0, 0. Very important for when you're doing content within game engines. I believe that's similar for other engines, even though we're just using UDK. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, are we going to use a box? Well, no, let's try and use make something usable. In a game okay so what I'm going to do is make a tank trap which you might know under dragon's teeth but the more military minded will say it's a tank trap so what we're going to do is press tab go into edit mode a now a to deselect everything get onto faces and just s for scale scale that in a bit however much you want and that'll do us and we're fine now next thing I'm going to do is actually set up a material for it so on the materials tab add a new one texture add a new one change it from clouds to image a movie open this up in my apex folder I have got dragon's teeth Yes, old tutorial, I know, but there we go. So we've got the texture set up, not applied to the material, uh, to the object yet. Why? Well, we're going to do that now. What we do is swap down into the UV editing. Now, don't do that. Do it that way. Yeah, I still mess up with the moving things around so right get away from that into just changing it into the uh, solid mode not textured now I'm going to press tab go into edit modes click on down here onto edges press A because we want to deselect everything now holding shift I'm just going to go around and select all the edges that I want to be made as a seam. Uh, back here in the middle, mark seams. Uh, back over here in the editing window, get, press A to deselect everything. Back onto faces mode. And I'll just move across that there so you can see it into faces mode. Press A to select everything and then in the centre section click on unwrap, left click unwrap, unwrap and that gives us everything here. Now if I hold shift middle button and pan up, 
scroll out a bit and that has given us a nice little layout but I don't really want things touching so select A with the mouse in this region so press A to deselect everything right click on the one face G for grab just move that up there same on that G for grab up there what we're going to do here is select all the outer faces holding my mouse away a little bit I'm learning a bit with Blender press S and just scale it in a little bit and then G and move it up now as you can see we have got no overlapping faces whether that's necessary mm up to you to try out I'm just doing something that actually I know will actually work now at the moment uh, if I press A we've got no texture applied so all we have to do here is press A all the faces are selected go down here browser images Click, because we've already loaded this into the material you can see it dragon's teeth yeah that gives us really wide zoom out a bit to give us a bit of a view now if we go into the user perspective go into texture mode you can see it's all textured okay happy yeah now all we have to do is go back into the default get out of there show it textured and we're happy now all we have to do is obviously save it save as as I've done this before so I'm just going to get me a little bit in there yeah, underscore zero one and save now before you get any silly ideas no physics lab does not load blender files so what we have to do is go to file export fbx uh, as you can see I've done it before yeah and it's picked up the name again so I'm just export that and we're happy if you want you can export as a wavefront object file yes I've done this before but one thing you want to make sure you watch out for is that you have X forward and Z up okay so it matches with UDK when you import it okay and that's that so that's all we need to do in the modeling program now it doesn't matter whether you're using Maya soft image whatever so long as you can export as an OBJ or an FBX file go for it okay just make sure you've got your UVs laid out your materials applied and you're happy so that's all it is for this section and I'll see you soon in physics lab for a bit of fun okay bye bye now